In this lesson, we're going to talk about the differences between on-premise Active Directory services, also called as ADDS, versus what Azure Active Directory got to offer. Azure Active Directory is also called as AAD, and ADDS represents your on-premise directory services solutions. So let's go ahead and write that here. ADDS is your on-premise directory services. So on your premise, you would be able to create users, computers, group policies, run federation as well with the help of Active Directory Federation services. What if you would like to have certificate services? You would go ahead and deploy, let's say, ADCS. You can also have Active Directory rights management to protect your intellectual property. Well, all of that was very well integrated into on-premise Active Directory services, right? All your client machines like Windows 7 or Windows 10 and older clients like Windows XP as well used to get authenticated with the help of a protocol called as Kerberos, which is running on port number 88 UDP, right? How about LDAP connections? All the LDAP connections and connectivities used to happen on port number 389. That all stands good when the applications were on-premise, but now the identities and the building of modern applications is all going to the cloud, and we call them as SaaS applications. Think about Office 365, Concour, travel applications, HR applications like Workday, they're all in the cloud, right? So we're no longer using Kerberos for authentication, instead using SAML, Secure Assertion Markup Language, which will let you do the authentication securely with the help of exchanging claims and tokens. If your application is not SAML compatible, then you can go for OpenID or OAuth. The auth here does not represent authentication, it represents authorization. So OpenID is for authentication and OAuth is for authorization. These are the main concepts here. Keep in mind that Azure Active Directory is a hierarchical tree structure. You can create users and group inside an organization unit. Azure Active Directory is a flat structure. So you do not have any organization unit structure. You cannot create group policies as well. But what you can do is you can join the Windows devices to Azure Active Directory with the help of a feature called as Domain Join. We'll talk about that in the next lessons, but we have the Windows Domain Join feature where you can join your on-premise devices to Azure Active Directory using the Windows Domain Join feature. Azure Active Directory is very much compatible with all REST APIs. So if you are building your own applications and would like to have authentication done through a cloud-based directory, then it supports REST APIs secure. Traditionally, you always had to go ahead and provision Active Directory Federation services. But with Azure Active Directory, you really do not have to do that because Federation is part of Azure Active Directory. It is inbuilt. So you do not have to install it. Any applications that you would like to onboard to your users as part of single sign-on activities is something that you can do Azure Active Directory seamlessly. There is no installation of Active Directory Federation services required here. Azure Active Directory is a managed service from Microsoft. It is pretty much secure. And with the help of P1 addition, you will be able to get identity protection suite as well. That means that you get better protection for your identities. Just to summarize, traditionally, we always used to create a virtual machine or a physical machine to host that Active Directory domain services. But here, when we come to cloud-based infrastructure, as soon as you create a subscription in Azure, you have the directory services with you. You have a tenant where you can start utilizing the features of Azure Active Directory as soon as you create a subscription in Azure.